Once upon a time, in a land where the sky was always blue and the fields were eternally green, there was a kingdom named Aurelian. In this land, the most beloved figure was Princess Ilara, known throughout the realm for her beauty, kindness, and most famously, her extraordinarily long, golden hair. Her hair was not just long but magical, possessing powers that even she did not fully understand. Ilara was born with her special hair, a gift from the fairy queen who blessed her at birth. It was said that her hair contained the light of a thousand suns, giving it a glow that brightened even the darkest of nights. Her parents, King Arik and Queen Leora, knew their daughter was destined for greatness and raised her with love and care. As a child, Elara often found herself lost in the wonders of her hair. It would shimmer in the sunlight and sparkle under the moonlight, mesmerizing everyone who saw it. Her maid, Yara, spent hours every day brushing and braiding it, ensuring it was always perfect. Yet, despite its beauty, Alara sometimes found her hair to be a burden, for it attracted unwanted attention and put her at the center of many tales and rumors. One day, while walking through the royal gardens, Alara overheard a conversation between two maids. They say her hair can heal wounds, one maid whispered. I heard it can even grant wishes. The other replied, Alara sighed. She had heard many such stories, none of which she believed. To her, her hair was just hair a part of her, but not all that she was. Chapter 2 The curse is Elara grew older, her hair became longer and more radiant. And with it came new challenges. One fateful day, a mysterious stranger appeared at the castle gates. Dressed in a cloak as dark as night, he introduced himself as Malachar, a sorcerer from a distant land. I have traveled far to witness the wonders of Princess Elara's hair, Malachar declared to the court. The king, intrigued but cautious, allowed him to stay as a guest. Malachar was charming and persuasive, quickly winning the favor of the court with his tales of magic and mystery. However, Elara felt uneasy in his presence, sensing a darkness beneath his smile. Her instincts proved correct when, under the cover of night, Malachar snuck into Elara's chamber. As she slept, he whispered an incantation, casting a curse upon her hair. When Elara woke the next morning, she felt a heaviness in her heart. Her hair, once a source of pride, now seemed to weigh her down. As she brushed it, she felt a sharp pain and noticed that strands were falling out, turning to ash as they touched the ground. Panic-stricken, Alara rushed to her parents. They summoned the royal healer, who examined her hair with grave concern. It is a dark curse. The healer said, your hair's magic has been corrupted. If not cured, it will wither away, taking with it your vitality. Ilara's heart sank. Her hair was part of her identity, and losing it felt like losing a part of herself. Determined to find a solution, she decided to embark on a quest to break the curse. Chapter 3 The journey begins with her parents' reluctant blessing. Ilara set off on her journey, accompanied by her loyal maid Yara and Sir Cedric the bravest knight in the kingdom. They traveled across mountains and forests, seeking the guidance of wise sages and mystical creatures. Their first stop was the Whispering Woods, home to the ancient dryads. These tree spirits were said to have vast knowledge of magic and nature. As they entered the woods, the trees seemed to come alive, their leaves rustling with secrets. Princess Elara, a voice echoed through the trees. We have been expecting you, a dryad with emerald green skin and hair like vines emerged from a great oak. Her eyes were kind, but filled with wisdom beyond her years. We know of your plight, the dryad said. The curse upon your hair is powerful, but it can be broken, Lara's eyes lit up with hope. Tell me how, please, you must seek the moonflower, the dryad explained. It blooms once every hundred years in the Valley of Shadows. Its light can purify, 
your hair and restore its magic. Grateful for the guidance, Alara and her companions pressed on toward the Valley of Shadows. The journey was perilous, with steep cliffs and treacherous paths, but they persevered, driven by Alara's determination to reclaim her destiny. Chapter 4 Trials and Tribulations They journeyed deeper into unknown lands. Alara and her companions faced numerous challenges. They encountered a fierce storm that forced them to seek shelter in a cave, where they met a friendly sprite named Lyra, who offered them guidance and warned of the dangers ahead. The Valley of Shadows is guarded by the night beast, Lyra cautioned. It will test your strength and resolve. Undeterred, Ilara thanked Lyra and continued her journey. She knew that the Moonflower was her only hope, and she was willing to face any danger to obtain it. As they neared the valley, the sky darkened, and an eerie silence fell over the land. Shadows seemed to move of their own accord, and a chill ran down Ilara's spine. The night beast was near. Suddenly, a massive creature with eyes like glowing embers and fur as dark as midnight emerged from the shadows. It roared, shaking the ground beneath them. Sir Cedric drew his sword, ready to defend the princess, but Ilara held up a hand to stop him. This is my trial, she said firmly, I must face it dot with courage in her heart. Ilara stepped forward. She focused on the warmth of her hair, remembering the light it once held. As the beast charged, she raised her hands, and her hair began to glow once more, pushing back the darkness. The night beast paused, its eyes narrowing. It seemed to sense the magic within her, and for a moment, it hesitated. Ilara seized the opportunity to speak. I seek the moonflower to break the curse upon my hair, she declared. Please, let us pass. The beast studied her for a moment longer before stepping aside, allowing them to continue. Ilara's heart swelled with relief and gratitude as they entered the valley. There, bathed in the light of the full moon, was the moonflower, its petals shimmering with an ethereal glow. Chapter 5 The power of the Moonflowerilla approached the moonflower, feeling its gentle energy envelop her. As she reached out to touch it, the flower began to glow even brighter, bathing her in a soft, silvery light. Thank you, Elara whispered, plucking a single petal from the flower. As she held the petal to her heart, she felt a warmth spreading through her body. Her hair began to glow with renewed vitality, the curse lifting as its magic was restored. The strands that had turned to ash transformed into golden silk once more, and the heaviness that had weighed on her heart disappeared. Tears of joy filled Ilara's eyes. She had reclaimed not just her hair, but her identity and strength. She turned to her companions, who watched in awe as her hair shone like the sun. Thank you for standing by me, she said, embracing Yara and Sir Cedric. With the Moonflower's blessing, they began their journey back to Aurelian, knowing that the trials they faced had made them stronger and closer than ever. Chapter 6 The returned journey home was filled with laughter and camaraderie, the bond between Ilara and her companions stronger than ever. As they approached the kingdom, news of their success spread like wildfire, and the people of Aurelian gathered to welcome their beloved princes. King Arik and Queen Leora stood at the castle gates, tears of joy in their eyes, as they embraced their daughter. You have proven yourself to be not only a true princess, but a true leader, King Arik said proudly. Ilara smiled, her heart full of gratitude for her family and friends. She knew that her journey had taught her valuable lessons about courage, resilience, and the power of believing in oneself. As she stood before her people, Ilara realized that her hair was not just a symbol of beauty, but of strength and hope. It was a reminder that even in the face of darkness, light could always be found. Chapter 7 A new beginning with her hair restored and her spirit renewed, Elara dedicated herself to serving her kingdom. 
She worked tirelessly to improve the lives of her people, using her experiences to guide her decisions and inspire others. She also began to explore the true extent of her Haz magic, using it to heal the sick and bring light to those in need. The tales of her kindness and bravery spread far and wide, inspiring countless others to embrace their unique gifts and face their challenges with courage. In time, Ilara became known not just as the princess with the magical hair, but as a wise and compassionate ruler who led her kingdom into an era of prosperity and peace. And so, the story of Princess Ilara and her enchanted tresses became a legend, passed down through generations as a testament to the power of love, courage, and the light within us all.